Hi guys, uh, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. Today we'll see one important topic and uh, frequently asked interview question: final and final variable. We'll see the introduction to final and uh, what are final variables and how to initialize final variables and where exactly use we use these final variables in Java. So first we'll go through the introduction for final and what is final. Uh, final as a keyword suggests that it does not allow to modify values by changing the original value. Okay, final can be used in different content, but the original meaning is once the value is set, we cannot change the original value. That means it acts like a constant. If we take a variable, it acts like a constant. Once the value is defined for it, we cannot change the value. So final can be used in different contexts. One as in the case of variables, in the other case it is methods and in the third case like classes. We can use final with variables, we can use final with methods and we can use final with classes. So we will see first what are final variables. So first going through the final variables, first what are final variables? Once a var variables which are defined with the keyword final are called final variables. Variables which are defined with the keyword final, we call it as a final variables. Okay, what is the final variables and how values are assigned? Once the values are assigned to the final variables, we cannot modify those values. That means values can be assigned only once. We can assign values to the final variables only once in our program. We cannot modify it. If we attempt to modify them, it will result in compilation error. Okay, whenever we try to modify the final variables value, okay, it results in compilation error. So, final variables acts like a constant in Java. For example, we can take number of days in a week. The number of days in a week remains same always. It is always 7. So, we can declare number of days in a week as a final. Okay, whenever, when we need to declare final variables means if the value doesn't change, and it remains same throughout our application or throughout the program then we declare the variables as an final and the other example is pi value pi value remains same it's 3.14 so on 3.14 and it remains same throughout our application or throughout our program so we can declare a pi value as a final variable and how to initialize final variables in java we can initialize final variables in two ways first at the time of declaration and the other later in the program okay we can declare final variable we can initialize final variables when, uh, whenever we are declaring the final variables and at the same time we can uh, initialize the final variables later anywhere in the program but one important thing to note here is final variables must be initialized before it is used we before the variables are used we need to initialize them Okay, as I said, uh, we can initialize final variables in two ways. Okay, whenever uh, we are initializing the final variables later in the program, but we are not at the initializing at the time of declaration, we call them as blank final variables. Okay, final variables which are not initialized at declaration, but initialized at later point in the program or application, we call it as a blank final variables and different final type variables we have different final type variables as we have different variables we can apply final keyword to all those variables so first one is final local variable and the second one is final parameters and third one is final instance variables and the fourth one is final reference variables we'll see this each type of final variables in detail with examples in coming tutorials let's recap what are the what is final and uh, different how to initialize final variables and uh, important rules in the final variables so as i told you final val final means once the value is set to it we cannot change it okay we these acts like a constant we can use final in different contexts like variables methods and classes and coming to the final variables once the values are assigned to it we cannot modify the value of the final variables if we try to attempt to modify the final variables, it results in compilation error. So final variables act just like a constant. And 
how to initialize final variables we can initialize final variables at the time of declaration or later in the program whenever we are initializing final variables later in the program instead of at the time of declaration we call those as blank final variables and here are the different types of final variables final local variables final parameters final instance variable and final reference variables and we'll see this uh, each type of final variables in detail in the coming tutorial hope you guys understand this video thanks for watching this video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos